Joanna and I both went to the University of Michigan. I didn't know her there. She was already hooked up with another guy. <laughs> but as soon as I saw her, I wanted to know that woman. And so Peter came up and started talking to me and he said, would you like to come to a party with me? And I said, no, I'm sorry, I can't. And I said, no, I'm sorry, I can't, all the way to the party. He was probably the closest thing to love and first sight. Well, we got closer and closer together and uh, decided to marry and then had a child. And That was 57 years ago. So it's beginning to look like it might work out. <laughs> <laughs> you are more worried about me than I am. Well, I find yeah. that Peter it gets frustrated easily. More and, so? Uh, yes. And, you know, his frustration comes out in anger. You know, uh -huh. if something doesn't work out really well, that's been happening. Mm -hmm. And a little more memory trouble, you think? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. When I found out that I had Alzheimer's, it was definitely a big shock. Yeah, it's nothing you can fool around with. And knowing more about it, or there isn't any solution at this point in time. It was a hard day, but then we, re we decided, well, okay, now we know. What can we do about it? Okay, good. This medicine called, a funny name, called aducanumab, was developed with a really interesting approach where they looked at older people who had lived a long life and either didn't develop Alzheimer's or had a very slow form of Alzheimer's. Something was retarding Alzheimer's or protecting against Alzheimer's. And they identified a number of antibodies that might fight the Alzheimer process. What's been so exciting about it is that this medicine seemed to slow down memory loss. Do you like to color at all? Yeah. We got some coloring books. This study, we've been doing this for probably two and a half years, and people, they're randomized. Either they uh, receive the medicine or they're receiving placebo, and they won't know, and the nurse and the investigators here won't know either. Do you guys know what infusion number this is for you? We started in November, so one infusion a month would be 10. Is that right? Yeah, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. That's how I do it. <laughs> it's uncharted territory for me, so you don't really know where this is going to lead you or where you'll end up. And surely there has to be a cure. That's my attitude anyhow. And if I can help to nurture the discovery, so much the better. Oh, these, oh, these, oh, these, oh, these awesome. we did for Dansk flatware. Oh, oh actually, these yeah. are... That's what it's they got a natural band in the back for your hand this way when you're cutting with a knife. Or Peter has never had a great memory, but obviously things were getting worse, and in terms of, of work, you could see the difference in his trying to remember where a job was left off and what needed to be done. And the interesting part about it is it never diminished Peter's design sense and his ability to be creative. Now, he may not be able to tell you when the next meeting was or what was to be discussed at the meeting, but as far as design was concerned, he was he never lost that. You wanted to go left here? Yes, yes, we are. Yes. yes, the way we normally go in. I can't specifically remember a point in time. It seems like it was a slow evolution. And I was excellent with a sense of direction when driving. That has gone away now. I don't want to lose my driving skills. I don't, I mean, I want to have that independence. The study lasts for four years, and so it's now been, what, 15 months. Peter is still driving, but only with me in the car. So that has changed in that we're together 24 seven. If I go, to have my hair cut, Peter comes with me. If he goes to have his hair cut, I go with him. And it does really, I have to say, it, it does increase the bond. The adversity can really sometimes make you closer. Hi, oh, Dr. Salloway. Hi. How, how are you? Thanks. Good to Good see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for yeah. doing all these yeah. wonderful things. Well, uh, we're happy to participate. Happy That's to great. Yeah. further yeah. the cause. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I view this actually as 
just participating is a breakthrough. Yeah. Because yeah. people thought Alzheimer's, forget about it, you can't do anything yeah. about it, and yeah. don't, not when we're trying. Right. And so what we're doing is changing the narrative. Now, I understood right. from when we first <laughs> talked to you yes. that after 18 months of having Peter having started right. the program, that we then find out whether or not Peter has been getting a placebo okay, well, well, or the I'm medicine. I'm glad you brought that up so I can clarify that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is true, after 18 months, you can continue receiving the medicine every month as you are now, but you're guaranteed to get the medicine. You won't find out your original assignment oh, uh, until the date is reported in, uh, for the whole trial. And then, okay. you, then that's when, then you'll know. That's when then the results you'll become know. available. We won't know until then. Yeah, okay. That's how it works. Peter says that he's always a glasses half full kind of guy, and I'm always the glasses half empty kind of woman. So I, I worry a lot that he's getting the placebo, but we really don't know. Well, I, you know, I feel like I have the responsibility to be in the trial. And yeah, I would love to be the beneficiary, but that wasn't the main reason. Well, I certainly have every expectation that there will be some happy ending to it. It may not be a cure, but that at the end of the four years, Peter is still Peter. Mm -hmm.